Hello, my name is Patrick Juback. I'm a heavy equipment operator trainee here at Deep Creek Construction School. Uh, today we're going to talk about rigging. On every job site, uh, it's the responsibility of somebody to be in charge of rigging. 90 to 95 percent of the time, it's going to be the responsi responsibility of the heavy equipment operator, which is going to be me. Um, so let's go over some of the responsibilities that there are when you're rigging. Uh, first thing is you need to expect or your inspection of your rigging. Um, there's different types of rigging, whether it's rope, wire, or chain. Uh, today we're going to be using rope. Uh, you're also looking to see if there's any knots, seeing if there's any cuts, anything like that in your rope. Uh, capacity of the rigging is number two. Uh, your capacity needs to be five times more than what you need to be lifting, the weight or the load that you're, you're lifting, which is your safe working load. Um, for, for your rope. Uh, the third part is attaching it to the load. Um, this is pretty simple. It's operating, or there's different types of ways of attaching uh, marriage hitches, basket hitches, different types. Um, today we're, we're going to go ahead and let you know how you can figure out that capacity or your safe working load for your rope. Um, there's a formula that's involved. The first part of the formula is you need to find out what the diameter of your rope is and put the diameter of the rope into eighths. We have three quarter inch nylon rope here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the three, three quarters and you're just going to times it by two to get your denominator of eight, which gives you six. So you have six eighths for your diameter. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply it. You need to multiply the top number by the top number by the constant. Your top number, your, eight, your, top number, your numerator is going to be six times six. And in order to find your constant, you need to know what type of rope you're working with. There's four different types of ropes we mainly work with. We work with manila, polyethylene, polypropylene, and nylon. Uh, with polyethylene and polypropylene, you need to just kind of remember the ETH and the PROP, the, the two between the two, or the difference between the two. Uh, 20, 35, 40, and 60. Um, your nylon is what we're using, so we're going to use a constant of 60. And what you're going to do is 6 times 6 is 36, times that by 60, and that gives us 2,160 pounds. Um, and that brings us to the number three, is you need to change your, pan your answer into pounds. Uh, so our safe working load for this rope would be 2,160 pounds. Thank you.